Good morning and happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Rashida and I'm a stay at home, work from home mom of four. We have Giselle, Malika, Nasir, and Naomi. And here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will not miss and upload all right so it's currently sunday morning the kids have not gotten up yet so i'm going to take advantage of this time we have a little to-do list i'm not going to talk long because like i said i'm trying to take advantage of the time that the kids are not up sorry if i'm speaking fast but i'm trying to get through this intro so it won't be so long but we have some things to do Number one on the list is that I need to go ahead and clean the kitchen. This kitchen has been giving me such a hard time since we moved in here. Like I cannot get it organized to save my life. And it's just like, I'm just, yeah. Anyways, that's neither, well, that is here nor there, but I need to get the kitchen back together because it's a mess. And one thing I need to have clean in my home is the kitchens and then the bathrooms, okay? So the kitchen is, a, it's, it's a mess. So we're going to get that together. I need to go grocery shopping. It is Sunday, so I need to go grocery shopping. Um, yeah, and then the kids wanted something simple for dinner. They wanted um, nachos or tacos, whatever. But that's what they want for dinner, so that's what we're going to have because that's fine with me because it don't take me nothing to, to throw some meat and add some taco seasoning, okay? And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm not trying to waste too much time in the intro because I want to get started on actually cleaning the house. She said she my eye, but I don't know her how to look her up. I know that I'm rich, but I can help it, bitch. I'm hood as fuck. I've been on these bitches next so long, sometimes I fucking stuck. I can put you in my bed. You might wish me dead tomorrow. Bitches be on dick today, sing every word of up tomorrow. Bitch, I still got cakes open. Keep your mouth shut tomorrow. Say with me today, then get some sip, you know it's up tomorrow. Fake bitch, that's why my friend fucked on your nigga. Both you bitches pussy, I think y'all should scissor. She bought a chain, I bought the same one, even bigger. She throwing shots, that's how I know I got a trigger. I don't speak dog ho, I don't care what no bitch say. I stay on her mind, I got condos in that bitch head. She said she don't fuck with me, who say that you can't hold? That nigga munching, he gon' eat me like a mango. Long ass teeth, it be tickling my ass crack. Wonder what I do tomorrow that these hoes will be mad at. Oh, y'all bitches sweet, and I always get my lick blue. Warm 
going through these cold months. But not just any man will do. That's right. We out here looking for some big boys.
on seats, yeah. All of these hoes came with it, yeah. All the world get a game in, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to fight to touch We got for round one. Um, so we got some Chips Ahoy cookies. For the produce, we have green grapes, strawberries, bananas, some butter, shredded lettuce. That's for the, the dinner tonight. Um, smoked sausage. We got two of those. A whole pack of red delicious apples. We got some watermelon, some uh, blueberries two cucumbers and a stock of celery. We have ham, turkey, roast beef. We have some onions, some corn on the cob. All of this is broccoli right here. All that's broccoli. Um, we have some hot dogs, some cheese. We have sharp and then mild and then the slices. Then we got some ground beef here. I got more meat in these, but I'll show you in a minute. I just didn't feel like putting it all up when I got to take it out anyway. Um, here's a pack of chicken thighs. We have two packs of extra large shrimp and then one big pack of jumbo shrimp. Here is the breakfast, like the instant breakfast stuff. You know, we like these pancakes. So I got three packs of the pancakes, uh, instant pancakes. Then we got two boxes of the French toast sticks, uh, one box of sausage, egg, and cheese croissants, and then one box of bacon, egg, and cheese croissants. Here we got the bread, which is now smushed thanks to 
Miss Girl. Okay, when I tell y'all, yeah, they was acting a fool in the store. They was acting a fool. Okay, um, we got them some yogurt. I got me some guacamole. We got eggs, and I hope that these eggs are still fine. They look still fine. And then we got donuts. Of course, already smashed. Okay. And then for the meat, um, you saw the thighs up there. Then I got two packs of chicken breasts. And then what's this back there? Some sirloin tender steaks, two packs of stew meat. And then this is two packs of the smaller ground beef ones. This is the big pack. Um, so yeah, so this is round one. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff up. Then we're gonna make some nachos for dinner. I'm gonna make the kids the regular, or maybe to just, just tacos, cause I think we do have the tacos. Um, just the regular tacos. And then of course I'm gonna make me some shrimp tacos. So I'm gonna put this stuff up and then I'll be right back. But I was just sitting here eating and going, you know, scrolling my phone, which I probably shouldn't be doing. But I was scrolling through my phone and I came across this footage that I have not posted. I meant to post it as like in the beginning of my moving series, but I didn't. So it is three recipes, three crock pot recipes when I was trying to clean out my freezer. Um, so I was like cooking all these different meals and stuff, just trying to get rid of the food in the freezer because it wasn't going to travel because we was moving across the country. So I came across it because I had recorded three of them. It probably was supposed to be more. That's why I didn't post it. But I came across three recipes and I just want to include it in here because one, it's Sunday. And two, who doesn't love crock pot meals? You know, that's easy for you to just dump a go, especially with school starting. Um, probably have a lot of kids are already back in school and then some people start this week some people start next week after Labor Day so why not have crock pot meals in rotation it just makes life easier and I'm here to try to help you make your life easier so I just wanted to include it in the end of this video so right after I finish talking um, I'm gonna include it because I just feel like I don't want to get rid of it <laughs> and it's not a whole video to post so i'm just going to be including it including it in here so i hope you get some ideas for your dinners and uh, yeah let's just go okay so for tonight we are going to be making chili i have my three pounds of ground beef of red pepper green pepper i'm only going to be using half of this um red onion i have three seasoning packs of the mild chili one can of black beans two can of mixed chili beans and it's kidney beans and pinto beans and then three cans of chili ready diced tomatoes i'm gonna go ahead and ground my meat cut my veggies and just dump everything into the crock pot Okay, so this is nothing new. I have made this kind of chili in the past. And honestly, what you're about to see is the first version of like a vegan chili. Well, I probably shouldn't say vegan. I'm gonna say a vegetarian chili. And I made this for me all the time. I mean, the kids eat it too. But I make this for me all the time. But this time we're gonna be adding the ground beef in it, which again is new to me to add the ground beef with the veggie chili. But overall, it turned out well. Of course, I didn't eat any of it, but the kids loved it. And that is a good way to actually sneak in some vegetables into their diet because if you cook them the right way, they will soften and the kids won't even know that they're eating it because everything kind of blends in together. I mean, it is a little colorful. I'm not even going to lie to you, but the kids don't mind because they're not really paying attention to what they're eating. Well, in case mine, mine or not. If you want to, you can just chop them up even smaller than what I did. But because my kids are getting to an age where you know, they just got to suck it up and eat it. <laughs> I can't like try to hide and sugarcoat it for them or bribe them to eat their vegetables. 
especially my older two who are 10 and 8 now, they definitely need to just suck it up and eat their vegetables. So that is why I'm chopping up mine the way it is. But like I said, feel free to chop it up smaller, especially if if you have smaller kids and you're trying to hide the vegetables. It does good. Now, this is not a typical crock pot meal. And honestly, you probably can cook it the same on the stove. The idea of the crock pot is that you just dump and go it's supposed to make your cooking easier but we all know that chili tastes better when it is slow cooked and i had already cleaned my kitchen and i just didn't want to dirty up a whole bunch of other dishes so i just wanted to set all this aside of course after i did my prep work but set everything up and just had the crock pot going on a slow simmer and i really don't have to worry about kitchen cleanup not that much at the end of the night now this is the dump and go part i would suggest that you kind of cook your onions and your peppers first just to get them a little bit softer because i feel like it just makes it taste better instead of having a whole bunch of like crunchy vegetables um, in your crock pot because i've tried it before and i just put it all in together and those still come out a little bit crunchy so if you like more of like a mushy chili definitely cook your vegetables first and then add everything else in now keep in mind that you can stop right here and just let it cook look how pretty and colorful and just hearty that this looks so you can definitely stop right there but like i said i was trying to clean out my freezer so i had some ground beef and this is just one of the meals that we cooked so i'm going to add it in and then once i add this in really it doesn't take much longer for this to actually be done because the meat is done and then you have already been letting your tomatoes beans and vegetables all that simmer so once you add this meat it's pretty much complete but i just wanted the meat to kind of soak up some of that flavor i did end up adding another pack of mild chili to it just for the seasoning um, but i really wanted the meat to soak up the some of the chili flavor before i actually served it and when i'm cooking it when i put the top back on it like it'll kind of start making its own sauce like the tomato sauce which is why i cook it a little bit longer so this is the sauce that i was talking about that it starts to make on its own the longer you cook it of course don't overcook it because then everything would just turn to soup but this is a good mixture of like good texture and then the saucy all right, next up is a new one that I am trying in the crock pot. It's not probably new to y'all, but it's new to me, and it is chicken tacos. I've never even thought to make chicken tacos into the crock pot, but again, it makes sense. So really, all you're gonna need is some diced tomatoes, some taco seasoning, and then your meat here. Of course, I'm going to season my meat. Some people, I have seen that some people season their meat and then they sear it on the stove and then put it into the, um, the crock pot. And I can see why at the end, um, it's because it gives it like a much prettier flavorful look in my opinion but it still turned out really good i mean i can't say for myself but my kids definitely ate all of it and asked for seconds at that so i'm just going to be um, seasoning my chicken here with the seasonings that you see and then i am just going to be dumping everything else in like we stated earlier crock pots are known to be dump and go meals and i'm a fan of that especially as a busy mom with four kids and everybody's in school sometimes you just need a good crock pot meal because your schedule is just so busy that you need to just put dinner all in a crock pot and just leave it and that could be one less thing that you need to do because sometimes it'll take me an hour um, to prep the food and then maybe another 30 to 45 minutes in and even an hour depending on what I'm cooking it'll take me that long for the food to cook so that's a total of two hours that I could have been doing something else where this this took me about maybe 10 minutes altogether to actually just 
pour everything in and then it just handles itself. I mean, we all know how a crock pot works, so I don't need to explain it to y'all. But in this instance, I'm just stating that I know that some people cook it different ways, but this way is the bare minimum and it still came out good. Now, don't judge me on this next thing that I'm about to do, but this is a TikTok hack that I've seen another creator. If I can remember her name, I'll tell you, but she used a potato masher to shred her chicken and i was like oh my god that is genius because i'm so used to doing it with like two forks and that takes some time but this literally shredded it in no time at all because the chicken was already tender from slow cooking so all you needed was like a little bit of force in the right tool and then it just started shredding i was just in awe but that's a little hack that I really suggest that you guys try out at least at once because it changed my life. With my chicken tacos, we just did chips and salsa, but it would be good with some rice and some refried beans. It depends on what you like, but we just did chips and salsa just to make, you know, everything just go by easier. But this is the plate and what it looked like. And trust me, my kids ate almost all of it within two days. It was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so the last and final recipe that I'm going to show you is it's going to be some kind of version of Tuscan chicken that I just threw together. And this is everything that you're going to need. Trust me, it's, it looks like a lot, but it's really not a lot. And then I'm going to be using um, chicken. Like I said, it's going to be Tuscan chicken. So, of course, I'm using chicken. Duh. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. In the crock pot, I'm just going to start combining like all of my seasonings that I want. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, trust the process and you're going to see why. But remember, keep that in mind. Put it in the back of your head that I said, trust the process. Okay. So now I'm just going to be adding all of my ingredients. If you don't like Tuscan chicken, I don't know what to tell you. I like Tuscan anything. I like a cream based anything. And I know cream is so controversial or dairy is controversy at this point. But I like any kind of like Alfredo. So Tuscan is right up my alley. And I often do like Tuscan salmon. And I'll pretty much just eat that by myself because my kids are not big salmon people. They'll eat like catfish and tilapia. But salmon, for some reason, they really can't get with. So like I said, <laughs> Tuscan anything is right up my alley, but I've never made any of this in a crock pot. I don't even know where I got this idea from. I don't know if I saw this idea on like TikTok because I get a lot of ideas off of TikTok, especially when it comes to food, because sometimes I just get in a food rut and I don't know what to cook. Like it is really the biggest task to find out what to cook every single day. Now, granted, I only cook Sunday to Thursday because Friday we'll do uh, like takeout or we'll do pizza. Saturday we do leftovers. So I'll give myself a little bit of grace when it comes to being in the kitchen all the time. But especially over the summer, baby, I was getting tired of cooking every single day. And I was running out of so many ideas. My kids would tell you, we pretty much ate the same thing like week after week after week like I didn't switch it up at all and I was making all the easy stuff because our summer was really busy if you don't know like we moved um that's just a process by itself it, that was it we moved <laughs> that's what took up all of our summer um and you know on top of that we were doing stuff and we were trying to get adjusted and stuff to the new area so I really wasn't I didn't have the brain power okay I had no brain power to try to figure out um, different elaborate meals but now i'm trying to get back on track hopefully no we're gonna claim it we're getting back on track as far as making like planning our meals because when i tell you this summer it threw us off this summer you would have thought i've never seen a routine or had a routine in my life but anyways back to what we're talking to talking about on hand okay so we just threw all that in a crock pot now we're seasoning up the the chicken a little bit Sometimes I feel like seasoning the chicken, if you knock on it, like sear it on the stove, it's kind of like, I don't know. No, I'm not going to say it's not redundant, but pointless. Because all that about to just go right in the sauce, right? But, you know, I, I just can't not just, I just have to stick a seasoned chicken in there. I can't just do raw, regular chicken. I don't know what it is. My brain not going to let me do it. But the reason why I say it, you know, trust the process because look at that crock pot right now. 
that does not look appetizing in that crock pot right now i'm trying to tell you when i was doing it i was like oh i'm about to have to throw this whole thing away because that's how nasty it looked now it smelled good okay but i had to trust the process because that looked like crap <laughs> pure crap and i probably should be saying that because it is a, like a cooking portion of the video but i'm gonna be honest with y'all that's that's what i'm here for this looked like pure nastiness so after you mix all that together and you go ahead and season your chicken go ahead and combine it now i know that you guys saw the heavy whipping cream do i did not put the heavy whipping cream into maybe like the last I don't know i want to say like 30 minutes after the chicken was already cooked so keep that in mind i did not cook the heavy whipping cream throughout the whole thing i don't know why like i said i can't remember where i got this recipe from because this is like old footage but yeah just don't put the heavy whipping cream in until the end okay again i'm gonna remind you we're gonna trust the process because this don't look appeasing as well okay and then it looked like it's all burnt but trust me it's not okay maybe around the pan the pot or whatever it, it might be a little bit but the food itself is not okay so as you can see now now it looks pure disgusting but look at the final product i paired it with some roasted potatoes and some broccoli and then i'm just going to be spooning so it makes like a i don't know like a tuscan gravy so this is the final product i did put some just tomatoes on top because you guys saw that i had to use sun-dried tomatoes now this was good i personally didn't have the chicken but i did cook me up some um saute some salmon and i still used the sauce i spooned the sauce over mine so i pretty much had everything that they had except i had salmon instead of the chicken and i'm telling you the sauce was good i actually saved the sauce because it was a lot of the gravy i should call it i don't know what you call it but i saved it and i used it on top of of all of my fish that i ate for the rest of the week anyways that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and got some meal ideas as always i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one